in our deck class, we're only going to have one global variable, which will be an array list of uh, standard cards, and we're just going to name it deck. We will want the ability to uh, reset or uh, basically refill the deck and then shuffle. And so in our standard deck um, constructor, we're actually going to call those methods. So we're going to make the method first, which is our reset. And what reset will do is fill our deck full of standard cards that we want, which will be the 52 standard deck cards, uh, 13 in each uh, suit. Now we'll actually call our reset method in our standard deck. And then we'll write a little pseudocode for our shuffle method as well. In our shuffle deck method, we're going to create a temporary uh, array list of our standard cards and what that will do is take uh, we will be able to randomly select an index from our ordered deck place it into here or move it from the other one once we've rotated through all of the cards in the regular deck we can then which will not be empty we can now save our temp array deck into our global variable of deck Now we can test it a little bit and see what's going on. So at this point, it should have sh shuffled our deck already. And we're noticing that everything is still in the order that it was added to the original deck. So we're going to need to fix why that's happening.
So adding a print statement in our while loop, we can see what's happening. And we're just adding in the same order that it already was in. So our shuffle deck isn't actually shuffling it for us. So we're going to need to deconstruct how our add uh, line is actually working. So we'll pull this logic out and actually make a, uh, a card, save that, and then we can see what's happening. So it appears that our random uh, portion of our code is not working as we expected. So we'll pull that out and uh, have that as well as a separate uh, variable to test out. And we can see that it's zeros every time. Which means it's going to be pulling the first indice every time. So it looks like we had just a little bit of a parenthesis issue, uh, order of operations. So we'll do a little refactoring. And now we can see that we are getting a random order. The main functionality of our class will be uh, to give us the next card that we have on top of the deck. Um, so we need to create a method that will give us that card and then remove it from the deck. So we will just use the remove uh, method from the class for array lists, uh, which will actually automatically remove it and give it to us to then return to the uh, calling instance. And we'll just remove the uh, size of the deck minus one. And here we can see that four spades was the last one on the deck. We've got 9, 10, king of diamonds, and 8 of spades. We've got 9, 10, king of diamonds, and 8 of spades. Lastly, we just want to be able to get the remaining count of how many cards are still in the deck. And so we will just return the size of the deck.